Hi, this is Sherry. I'm literally starting the reading in my car because my I was um, with somebody and uh, visiting, and um, time ran away from us, so I got to I, I had to get this done. So I'm doing this as quickly as I can. As I'm sitting here talking to you guys, there's a hawk sitting in the tree. Um, I don't think I can get my. Oh, I don't think I can get my. Um, I can't. Dang, I can't. I can't get up enough to see it. So. It's sitting in the tree. So the hawk is the messenger. Um, the hawk has, that's not my, that's not even the totem that we're supposed to be talking about. Um, the hawk is a messenger. It also says to look at things from a higher perspective. Um, it's just sitting in the tree right now though. So um, maybe wait because there's something coming. So before you act, wait. Um, I wish I could stand. I don't want to sit all crouched down like that. Um, is this is this weird. <laughs> then and you can get a background view too. So I'm going to tell you about what our what our um, animal messenger is today. It's it's the fly, and the fly totem. Um, maybe I should let you guys know. I can't turn it. See, I wish I could turn it so you could see. Maybe I'll just do that. Then you could see behind me. Um, so the fly totem says, "Keep your eye on the prize. Um, your persistence is going to pay off." It also means um, you're flying high right now, so stick with it. Your courage and persistence um, is, your al is your best al ally or asset. Um, it also means that um, rapid change is in your life right now in emotions, um, uh, emotionally, physically, in mean, all areas of your life, there's, there's, there's rapid change happening. It also means that um, you need to prepare yourself to um, act very quickly. Um, you may need to act suddenly and quickly um, and precisely in possibly unfavorable or uncomfortable um, uh, situations. It says that you, oh, my stomach, I'm, I, I'm nervous. I've got like this excited, excited energy. Um, you probably can feel that from me. Um, man, I can feel it. It's just like I'm spinning right now. Um, I had a great day. <laughs> um, so the fly says that you have the ability to um, recognize opportunities. Um, you have the um, ability to um, abundance. It's about abundance coming in. Abundance. Um, there's there's abundance coming into your life, or you've got the ability to manifest this abundance, um, and you're you're able to zero in on it. So they're saying use your keen eyesight to see what this is, um, uh, to bring this abundance into your life. Um, it talks about persistence. It talks about. Um, um, Right now, you need to focus on yourself. They're saying you're going to get it. what it is. Um, ah, that's what it is. Um, it's reminding you that your goals, you're going to reach your goal sooner than later. Um, and even if you have to be selfish or annoy others a little bit um, in order to get what you need to get done. Um, and it's going to be moving quickly. And um, you, you have the, like I said, the ability to hone in and, and, and on an opportunity. And you have the ability to multiply. And, and um, um, m m your endeavors will, we, will multiply and, and bring a great abundance to yourself. You have the ability to do this. <sighs> Walk your rock, talk your talk. It's the crow. Um, I'm trying to think now. That threw me off a little bit. I am walking my walk. Okay, so fly high. You're flying high right now. Um, ah, also the the um, the fly is saying you need to remind yourself, possibly, to that you need to find a balance between um, self-importance and humility. So make sure that you find a balance between that. That you're not um, that you're not out of whack when it comes to that. There's there's no reason to be um, an egomaniac, and there's no reason to put yourself down or dumb yourself down or lower yourself. Um, you need to come to, come to center, find your center um, of the balance between um, arrogance. You don't want the arrogance, and, and you don't want um, a subservient attitude. So you need to find. It's reminding you. You need to find your balance between this. So what do you need to do to bring yourself back into balance on this? Um, I'm going to take the phone. Um, shoot, hold on. I gotta figure out how to do this. So, <laughs> I've charged it enough that I, I, I would rather do the reading outside. I don't want to do it sitting in my car. So, I'm going to. I don't. I can't tell e either how much of this battery got charged. I'm gonna hope it's gonna be enough for us to get up there, where I want to be, and do our reading, and not um, 
lose my battery. Okay, so we're going. We've come undone. I'm gonna let you guys look around. We're up in the mountains because I always need the mountains, you know that. And I uh, hopefully we'll get out there before sunset. Hold on a second, I got my glasses on because we still have we still have the sun. And I figure I might as well keep I should have kept this charging while I was getting myself together. Okay. I will tell you that the deck we have two decks that we're working with today. One is um, we're, we're having four cards from the um, where is it? Where is it? From the Shapeshifters deck and one card from the Oracle of Shadows and Light. That's just the way Spirit wanted it. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'll let you look at the first card before we start walking. Here's our first card, the Golden Phoenix. Something you thought finished bursts back into life. Okay? So take a look at her. She's holding on to this little phoenix on her right hand. So to me, it's the right-hand man. Um, she doesn't look very happy though, does she? Look at her eyebrow. It's kind of set in a, in a worried state. So I believe that she doesn't realize or maybe doesn't trust that this is hap that this is going to happen for her. And, and yet the, the Phoenix is literally sitting on her arm as it tells the message. Okay, that's good. Okay, so something you thought. Here, let's go. As I walk, I'll tell you the story of the phoenix <laughs> rising. So something that you thought dead and over has burst back to life suddenly. What could this be? So we think. I'm thinking about the. Um, I'm thinking about the fly totem that we just had, right? And it talks about sudden and unexpected change happening so you weren't expecting this to happen and yet it's going to happen I hope I didn't lose my card <laughs> I want you guys to look at her and I think I might have lost her hold on you guys look around today is um this is unexpected for me oh there she is okay so get a good look at her there she is <laughs> I've got everything stuffed in here okay so um Oh, it feels good up here, you guys. Take a look around. Oh yeah, we got the sun still. Okay. I heard on the way up here, the sun will set on you. And I thought, okay, that's okay. As long as I am able to get to what I need to get to while I'm up here, right? As long as you guys can get a look at this out here and we can get a jump start on our reading. I don't mind actually watching the sun go down. That'll be kind of cool. Tomorrow's the eclipse energy. Maybe the... Um, I'm feeling that right now. And I've got a little fly that's flying around me, which is hysterical because that was just our messenger saying that sudden and unexpected change is happening in my life right now. And I have to work with it in, un in possibly uncomfortable or unfavorable circumstances, which is what's happening right now, right? My battery's dying. I'm trying to rush to get here not exactly favorable here we go I guess we're going here this is a different spot I wanted to be up there didn't I well let's climb okay so what's going on is with this golden phoenix they talk about a transformation that you're um, transforming internally and externally as same thing as what the fly was saying there's changes happening internally and externally right now oh, look at that view you guys I don't know if you can see this on the computer, but the town, the lights are lit up and it looks like little diamonds and the mountains, it's beautiful. So, <clears throat> um, so internally, these are th things are happening. Um, it's talking about, I find this interesting because they're telling you to talk to the Phoenix at sunrise, which is what I did earlier today. I got up this morning and, uh, I did my oops. I did my solar meditation that I planted uh, that I that I put out for you guys the other day, and I did it this morning. So they're asking you to to do this. Get up at sunrise and talk to your phoenix, and it's about recharging your chakras and your aura, and 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 it gets in line with what's going on with your experiences, your thoughts, your reality. 
Um, and so you're working together as a team. It's talking about you. It's talking about a regeneration of your life. It's about something of, about you that has died, something that has passed on, and it's turning into a, it's, it's the rebirth and the transformation that's taking place in your life right now. Um, is saying that you're gonna, you're gonna rise again. Because clearly, the phoenix is what rises from the ashes, right? Something that you thought maybe was dead. Maybe it's you. Maybe there's an aspect of your life that you thought, I'm just not going to go there. It's not going to happen for me, or I'm, I'm just not going to be able to do this. And they're saying, you're wrong. The fly says, you've got the ability to pull everything that you need to you. You've got the ability to, to exponentially manifest abundance in, in, in unbelievable ways. And in, in you're, you're not to give up, right? So this is what the phoenix is saying. And what they're saying right now is they want you to allow yourself to be reborn. You have retreated. Right? I, I said, uh, I did something today out of, un, out of the ordinary, everyone probably realizes. I've been a Rapunzel in an ivory tower for the longest time and finally I decided that's it, I'm going out, I'm, I'm leaving this, this space of, of confinement. And so that's what they're saying, you have retreated, you've rested, you have recovered from whatever it is that you were going through. And you, now, this is, now you're reigniting, there's something inside of you, this, this energy that's being reignited. Um, this phoenix that's rising, this, this could be you or it could be someone else right? Um, they're saying that you thought that, that something or someone, God, why is this? I hate this. Um, something or someone uh, had, had ended. It was over and, and, and there was nothing coming back. <laughs> I'm trying to find a spot where I can see and not be blind. Oh, that's better. That's pretty. Look at the background. Oh, I like that. That's way better. Yeah, I like that. Bummer, because I go like this. I want you guys to see the blue. There, touch the screen so that you see the blue. Isn't that pretty? There, that's way better. Okay, so something or someone that you thought was dead and, and dead and gone suddenly bursts back to life, right? The phoenix is, is rising. Um, this, this once lifeless thing is now, the spark is, is flamed back. And you are going to, re to witness a resurrection. This resurrection, you're going to see it yourself. It's either in you or in someone else or in some idea or some dream or whatever. It's going to come back to life. It's like, it's like you're, looking, you're poking around in a, uh, a fireplace, right? And all there are is ashes there and you're thinking the fire's dead. And then you poke around, but, but then you blow a little bit of life into it. You blew a little bit of life into it and all of a sudden, whoosh, it comes back to life. Gosh, it's pretty up here, you guys. Um, and so this resurrection and this reborn, you and this person or this thing or this dream or whatever, you've got the ability and you are going to together create something wonderful. Something of warmth and beauty, something that, that, that's, the words that they give are innocence and beauty. This is good. This is goodness. This is pure goodness that is going to come from this, this rebirth. They talk about passion and they talk about will and force and intelligence all coming together, right? They talk about health and fitness. Um, you're, oh, that's an emphasis on that. So health and fitness, you, you, together you're going to renew this, 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 um, this feeling of, of health and fitness and the fact that I'm sitting up here and climbed up this rock um, for our reading and we got that little uh, messenger that popped in right there and that's that's a focus so this is something that's very important so there has been a healing that has been taking place on an emotional level um, and on a spiritual level but now when you and this this Phoenix rise together and, and now it's going to be actually taking place on a, a physical level so it could be um, um, they talk about uh, fitness regimes, so it could be you're going to be um, exercising, um, you're going to be um, becoming stronger, fitter, more in shape. Um, they, they, they give me the words leaner, fitter, faster. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to have the perfect body, right? It's just saying that what you have, you're going to improve together. You're both going to improve. Um, maybe this is a time when you're going to take up a different kind of sport. You're going to take up yoga. You're going to take up, I don't know, you're going to do something. There's going to be a new physical ex exercise or activity in your life that's going to help build you stronger and make you uh, faster, leaner. I just get, I'm getting faster, fitter, leaner, meaner. <laughs> that's what I get. Um, they're telling, because it's, it's about being reshaped. It's about taking the gifts that you have and, and, what, and, and, then to, and, and you don't have them alone. You have them together with this phoenix. Whatever this phoenix is, if this is a person or if this is an opportunity or if this is your dream, whatever this is. Um, but you're gonna be, they're, they're saying that you're gonna be moving in harmony and comfort. And, and, and this all is gonna be working well to support you. So they talk about, um, it's interesting, last night I, I took my, myself into the bathtub with candles uh, with a new candle I bought and, 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 this, and the healing um, 
crystals. You know, I, I got effervescent crystals, and it reminded me of my grandma. My my mom used to say she'd get frustrated with me, and she'd say, "Oh, she's so." this and she sold that and she sold the other and, and my grandmother would say she's not so anything some people like coffee some people like water and some people like something with a little bit of fizz she's effervescent so when I saw that those crystals the effervescent crystals I found them and I thought this is my grandmother telling me you just need to relax go in there cut cords um, and 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 rebalance and, and hand this over to spirit that's the surrender right so that's what I did last night and what they're giving me at this time spirit is giving me that word effervescent so you're gonna have that effervescent feeling that kind of bubble feeling of, of when um, like when you drop what is that what were those uh, my grandma used to have these orange vitamin C tablets and you would drop them in water and they would fizzle up and uh, it was like drinking an orange pop you know I don't pop is what we call it in Canada and so it, it's that's what they're giving me they're giving me that energy this amazing energy is what you're gonna feel I'd like to know who that little guy is up there that's talking to us that little that little uh, it sounds like a it's funny, I don't even know what a whippoorwill is, but, but to me in my head, I, I, I heard whippoorwill. <laughs> Isn't that bizarre? I'm going to have to look up a whippoorwill and see what that message is for me. And for you guys, so we'll, we'll, we'll look up whippoorwill because there's definitely a message in that. Um, but what they give me is um, the word effervescence, and they give me candles. This is going to be a time of, you're going to be lighting candles. You're going to have meditation. You're going to go into a peaceful, you're going to do this, um, you may be doing this together with someone or I don't know, but it's it's on your, your new diet. Your new diet is organic and it's natural, um, which is organic. Think about what organic means. Real, um, down to earth, right? Um, candles, uh, I'm thinking essential oils, I'm thinking massage, I'm thinking effervescence. All these things are going to come into play. They're all a part of this. And they're all about recreating who you are when this phoenix arises. So that's the first message. Now you guys look around at this beauty while I find our other cards because I've dumped them. In the bottom of my bag. Okay, so the next card that we have is the fairy ring. Okay, so now this is from this is from the the same deck. The the first four cards are all going to be from the same deck, and this is you see the circus going on. Okay, now look at there's a little bit something a little bit interesting about this circus. See the girl on the trapeze and her frog. The frog re represents healing and transformation. She's going to catch that little frog. Okay. She's got a butterfly wing. She's got butterfly wings. And they all have butterfly wings. Interesting. And what, what they want you to notice about this is these fairies. These are, the, these are their, the, these ones, you're going to be learning things. You're going to be learning new things. The new skills, advanced training, rapid movements. Now remember, the fly totem said that. There's going to be, um, you may have to move quickly and suddenly in, in uncomfortable or unfavorable circumstances or there's rapid change happening in your life right now. So this is also a confirmation of that. It's talking about learning new skills. Wow, emphasis on that. Sharpening your reactions and senses. senses. So remember reacting quickly, sharpening, remember the, um, for the opportunities that you're going to, the fly says that you are able to grasp an opportunity quickly and see it when others don't. So they're saying pay attention to your, your keen eyesight. Pay attention to... Um, and it's quick when things th you're able to grab it quickly into the air. So, so think about that. She's flying through the air, right? And she's going to catch this frog. So what they're giving you right now is discipline and structure that are important. They're talking about possibly you're going to be taking courses, um, studying something. Um, there's something that you're looking at that you want to develop. There's something that you're trying to develop that's different. Um, it's a new. It's a new goal of yours. It's a new uh, something new that you're learning. So. And you're looking at that. You're longingly looking at it. This is something you want. And they're showing you a test. There's going to be a test, an examination. And it's going to be a test of your skills. And what's interesting is, is this a physical test? It could be. It could be a physical test that you need to take. It could be a spiritual test. It could be an emotional test. Whatever it is, you are being tested by someone or something um, to see how quick you react, to see how you handle a situation, to see what you do, um, see how you uh, pick up on things. How keen is your is your intuition? How keen is your eyesight? Um, this is about assessing your suitability for a specific role, right? Because you need these. You're going to need these to, to pass this test. You need these. You need to be able to handle these skills and and understand them and 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 move with dexterity and quickly and sharply and use your keen mind at whatever this is that's coming into your life. Um, so maybe you have to refresh your skills. Maybe there's an updating that you need to do. Um, my friend is uh, having to study right now a test because she's got to get a new driver's license. And she's an older person, so she has to study and, and, and get 
prepared because some of the chests, they're, they're like trick questions. So there may be tricks thrown at you. Are you able to pick up on it? Are you able to clue in and figure, hmm, this isn't, I, I know that this isn't, this isn't what it seems. So are you able to pick that up? Um, they're telling you that this is exciting. This is going to be very exciting for you. This is a, a, an exciting adventure that's about to happen. And it's going to lead you to a place of adventure and excitement. It's going to, um, it may have something to do with your, your own work. Holistic? I mean, I'm getting holistic because what have I been doing? I've been fiddling around with my cat trying to figure out how to get her well and I realized that my cat is perfectly healthy. My cat has been giving me a message. She is wanting my sole attention. She's jealous of my other cat and she was upset that I abandoned her. I left her alone um, and so she's refused to eat. Her blood test came back and she's completely healthy. There's nothing wrong with her. So, But while I was going through this, I started making things holistically. I learned how to make um, cat food um, that would be healthy. I learned the things that would be healthy for her um, and I also learned things, well it's getting dark isn't it, there we go, um, that were good for my body. So maybe you're going to be doing something holistically you're going to be working with. Maybe you're going to be working with essential oils. Maybe you're going to be, um, maybe it's something to do with finances. Maybe it's something to do with building. Um, whatever it is, they want you to be flexible. You need to be as flexible as possible and the more flexible you are and the more willing to roll with things as they come, the quick changes that come quickly um, in circumstances that might be uncomfortable, try and keep your cool, try and um, do it as, with, with as much humor as possible um, and they're basically saying train hard and hold your head high, right? Um, because soon you're going to have a chance to, de to uh, demonstrate these skills to others. Okay, so that's your next message. Then we get, wow, the sun's going down. They were right. They told me the sun will set on me. That was the song I got in the car on the way up here. The sun will set on you. Dang. Maybe we need to go up a little bit. Can you guys see this? Darn it. Here. Help me out here. Help me out. I need some help. Okay. The Dragonling Garden. Garden. A new world is born. Okay. So here you see this little one, and she's holding on to her dragon. And she's got a, a baby deer behind her, a little fawn, and there's a rabbit and a squirrel. The rabbit represents fertility. The squirrel represents big changes, getting ready for big changes. The frog represents healing and transformation. Um, the deer, walk gently on your path because you may not know what you're going into, or you may have been coming out of a difficult situation and you're not quite sure where to put your footing. And the red cardinal means remember your own nobility. Nobility, not pride. Remember the balance between pride and um, humility. So it's, it's saying, remember your own nobility. You don't have to dumb yourself down. You don't have to, uh, they want you to recognize your own self-worth. It talks about recognizing your own self-worth, about your own importance. It's important that you understand that that's not a bad thing to be. So what it's talking about, this is talking about the animals in the world. And it's talking about caring for the animals, just like I've been caring for Lily and caring for, for nature. It's talking about, we can't live in this world without those animals. We can't, we can't. We need every animal that we have. The world is, is, is alive and it's beautiful, but we, and we... But we're, we're killing it. So it talks about our, our responsibility in taking care of the animals. And if you know what I said today, this, when I spoke about Lily, I said, I'm sure a lot of you are probably saying, it's just a cat. You know, geez, there's people dying in the world. We need these animals. The animals are what make this world go. You don't understand. It's, it's so important. We have come to a time where we have to understand that, that it's our responsibility to take care of Gaia, and we haven't done it. Everything is returning. Everything that we feel has been lost is going to come back is what they're showing us. And, and the world has got a rebirth taking place, and we can't live without the world of, 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 of nature. We need the world. And, 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 and what they're saying is, is we have been entrusted. Um, these, these animals and, and this earth, this beauty around us, we have, it has been entrusted to our care. We're the ones that we're supposed to take care of it. So what they're saying is you, as well as, as all of these, have come through a time of hardship, right? Even the entire animals, the entire, the entire planet. It's not just us that have come, this, this transformation and this rebirth is happening. It's happening with, through everyone. The animals are coming back. Um, the earth is coming back. It's regenerating. There's things that are coming back to life. It's, it's all around. People think that, no, the animals are going one by one, they're dying, it's going to be the end. No, we're not. We're all coming together. Everybody, we, we have to have our, play our part and recognize that everything can be reborn. It's just a cycle, right? It's just a cycle. So that's, that's that message. The next message, you are unlike anyone else. Now you look at this little girl and she's got butterfly wings 
And then you look at this frog, and it's got butterfly wings. Frogs with butterfly wings. Okay, those aren't normal, right? Those aren't what the world would say are normal frogs. So what they're talking about is the contradiction of what you actually see in front of you. If, if, if it's what the world says is not normal, who wants normal, right? It's unique. It's different. And so what they're saying is your, your contradictions and your complexities, that's what makes you unique. That's what makes you special. So maybe your whole life you have been uh, ostracized. Or maybe I, I posted something about a, a little boy who has, um, he has blue eyes and blonde hair. And he's in a pri prim primarily dominant, dominant um, Latino um, school. And so the kids make fun of him. They give him a hard time. They say, you're a fag, you're this and that. Because he's, he's different. He stands out. When we're different, we stand out. Well, that can be anything. It can be your sexual orientation. What if you are gay? What if you are a black person or an Indonesian person? It doesn't matter. It's everything. It, it's race. It's spirituality. What if you're a spiritual teacher and you were raised a Jehovah's Witness? There's something wrong with you, right? You're not the same. You're different. So it's everything. Anybody that's different and unique can be ostracized. So maybe you felt this way, right? Maybe you have been, you've been on the outside of this. Um, and what they're talking about is, again, we have this transformation that's taking place that's not only taking place in just the, the world outside energetically, but it talks about you, new friendships. They talk about developing these new friendships. They talk about repairing a damaged relationship. Remember we spoke about that last week, about the, the fairy that, that sat on the, on the gossamer, um, the web of creation, the little wet, the spider's web. And it talked about how she was learning that they're trying to figure out the, the ones that she was supposed to let go of and then the relationships that she was supposed to repair. So this is also speaking about there is a relationship that needs to be repaired at this time. Let's go that way where it's bluer. Um, it talks about working on new skills that, that, that may not come easily to us, right? We, we, were, we were just showing that there's new skills that are going to be coming and it's going to be difficult. We're going to have to study. We're going to have to work hard at it, right? So it talks about this. It talks about um, working on things that don't come easy, making difficult choices. Remember how we had to act quickly in, in conditions that may not be favorable, but you have to act on your integrity. They're talking about being standing in your integrity. Um, they talk about... Um, the fact that the fact that this little these butterflies i mean these frogs have butterfly wings it talks about being unique and different right it talks about how how people may want to they want to fit you into a class like i was just talking to somebody on the way before i came up here and i was saying you know i was raised as a jehovah's witness and people say oh yeah, i'm not into new age and i said i'm not a new age person i'm not a jehovah's witness i said i'm not a buddhist i'm not any of that i take a little bit of everything that i've learned and i put it all together and i'm just me don't put me in a class don't put me in a box i'm not who that who you think that i am i'm i'm not whatever you are and, and that's what they're saying. A lot of people may want to fit you into a category. They want to put you into something at this point, at this place. And you're saying, no, that's not who I am. Um, I, I don't fit comfortably in a, and, and, and I'm different. And, and, and today I may say this and tomorrow I may act this way. So they're saying you don't have to choose. You can be a contradiction. You can be who you are. Be the experiment. Be different. Go out and do what other. Let others be puzzled or, or try and figure out what the heck's going on. You've got the courage to defy boxes, labels. You aren't what other people are. You aren't what other people expect you to be or tell you that you should be or maybe have told you and you have believed that you should have been. You've gone through maybe a very difficult time, but there's nobody else like you in this entire universe and you're unique and special and you're exactly the way you're supposed to be. You're the way God created you to be, right? Gosh, the light's driving me absolutely nuts the way I'm sitting. I'm gonna go this way. You guys watch the sun as it goes down because it's incredible. What they're saying is, you have to keep going, right? You've got, you, you've recognized, you're beginning maybe. Maybe you haven't seen it all yet, but you're beginning to realize it was worthwhile, the changes and the sacrifices that you went through, this difficult time that you've, and you've, you've outgrown it. And maybe for a while you felt like you were just like in this middle ground of, of, of nowhere land where, where you've done all of this work and things are repetitive and, and you're being criticized and judged. And what they're saying right now is you successfully reinvented yourself. This is the time. Now they're talking about new joy. Now they're talking about, about happiness coming your way. And all the hard work is going to have been worth it. Everything that you've, that, you've, that you've been going through and that you've been learning about yourself and you've been recreating yourself is paying off. There's going to be less worrying, more time for enjoyment. Um, they're talking about, as I said, new friends, developing new friendships. They're saying, of course, old friends may go away, right? It may happen. 
but but new ones will come in and maybe some of the old friends will go with you into this this new part of who you are this new experience of your life but whatever's going on your decisions are being challenged by other people as I said people are confused they, they, they can't figure out who you are what's going on you know it might be that your your close friends and family oh, look at this this is beautiful your close friends and family feel somewhat betrayed like they're like who are you I don't even know who you are you know you don't act like who you who you used to be and what you used to do and maybe they'll pull away from you maybe they feel betrayed maybe they feel like you know you've let them down and so you've got you're challenged and maybe the decisions that you're making because they're saying this is the time right you got to make some quick decisions right now and they're saying maybe these decisions that you're making at this time may feel odd to other people they think you're nuts for doing what you're doing right maybe you're um, you refuse to be labeled anymore. You refuse to be put into a box. You're creating your own style, your own look, your own identity, your own who you are. You're not worried about being popular. It's, it's, um, and if this message comes to you when you're feeling very alone, Spirit is giving you this message because they're saying, take heart, changes are about. And it, it, the truth, things are going to come and they're going to turn on your side. The light of truth is on your side is what they're giving us. And they're telling you, as the, as the fly said, don't give up. You're, hot, you're flying high, don't give up, persistence. Your goals are gonna manifest sooner than you realized. Sooner than later is what the fly said, right? So don't give up just before the miracle happens. That's what they're giving you, okay? So then the next message, let me get all my cards. We are running out of, <clears throat> I know I'm going through these cards quickly because I feel like I'm losing my battery. I'm definitely losing the light. The sun is definitely going down on us. Our last message is coming is Marie Masquerade. Now you know Marie Masquerade. Glamour, intrigue, drama. Okay. So Marie Masquerade, she's coming from the Oracle of Shadows and Light, which is also one of, gosh, look at the colors, you guys. Gosh, it's so beautiful. The sun, well, it, isn't it amazing? I am so guided by music and animals, it's incredible. The fly landed on my foot when I was on my date. You know, landed on my foot and told me, um, and I looked down at my foot and, and the person said, don't worry, it, it, it's not gonna bother, bite you, it's not a horse fly. And I said, no, that's cool. Horse flies are a really good message, actually. And I, and I watched it and, and it just sat on my foot. And I said, I'm not worried about it biting me. I said, it looks like it's gonna stick with me. Um, I, I, I pay attention to my animal messengers. And so when we got the message from Fly, um, that was our message. That's how spirit talks to me, right? It, it, it tells what's coming. And then on the way up here, as I was racing to get to where I needed to get, because I knew I was so late, I heard on the radio, the sun will go down on you. <laughs> and it will. And I thought that was really exciting for you guys to see because it's so beautiful. So Marie Masquerade, I'm going to do it like this because the, the sun is blinding me. Um, I'll let you take a look at her. And she is very beautiful, very stylish. She's always reinventing herself, right? And wherever she is, there's glamour, there's style, lavish entertainment. And she is amusing herself there. But the problem is, she is not hung up on what all of that, all of that facade. She wants to be loved for who she is. She, she's not hung up on all of the, all of, all of that that's around her. Um, she wants to be truly loved for, for the person that she is and, and, and she wants to rely on talent to express herself. She doesn't want to rely on looks or money. Um, and, and, and be her friend, that's not a problem. Just don't try and be like her. Don't try and, and copy and, and, and change yourself to be something that you're not. Some, look beneath they also she's taken off her mask she doesn't have a mask but at this moment they're saying something or someone is about to happen they're saying that someone is going to invite you to be involved in something very intriguing and they're going to ask you in ways that are very tempting they're going to come across to you very very charming because if they didn't come across in a tempting charming way it wouldn't be something that you'd be tempted to do right this is a temptation temptation is like something that's enticing you so what's going on is this you look at this person and they're beautiful or talented or very, or maybe they're just powerful, a power position, or maybe it's a company or it's a group of people or it's an organization and you're flattered, but they're saying there's a price to pay and you may pay a very, very high, high price with this, the risk of, of, of brushing or, or associating or, or tapping into whatever this could be, right? It comes up, um, it could be politics. They're saying politics and intrigue, um, and, and make sure that the politics or the intrigue that, that, that is involved in this is something that you really truly want because there's a price to pay. This is not going to come to you without a cost and there could be um, a sacrifice. They're saying not could be. There most definitely will be a sacrifice necessary and it's hidden from you right now. 
And it's very tempting. It's definitely very tempting. But they say it may not be within your best interest to pursue it because of the price that you're going to have to pay to be involved in whatever this is with this person, this organization, this group, this, this job offer. I'm not quite certain what it is that's coming. Also, there's another message. There's gossip and intrigue around someone that you admire and you want to be like this person. This person needs a real friend. They don't, they don't need an admirer. Marie Antoinette, she doesn't need an admirer. Marie Masquerade, this, this, this beautiful one here, she doesn't need you to be her fan. She wants a real friend. Right? She wants a true friend. She doesn't need any more admirers. She's got them. And this message comes when maybe you're experiencing jealousy and envy from others who feel that you're a successful and, and they don't think that you should be successful. They feel they should be successful. So you've got this kind of negative energy that's coming against you. When she comes up, there's people around who want to befriend others, but they don't want to befriend the person for their friendship. They want something from them. Maybe this person, because they're in a position where everyone looks at them or they're in a, in, in a public place or, or they're coming from a, um, like I said, they're, they're glamorous, they're intriguing, they're beautiful. Um, they want to associate with this one so that they can network and, and kind of get from this, some, this person maybe connections, um, notoriety, publicity, whatever it is. But they're not coming to this person um, for, for a true friendship. So they're saying, be very, very careful that you aren't doing this, that you aren't networking. You're not, you're not, you're not networking, like pretending to be friend, but you're actually doing it to network. I told you how I had to remove people from my page because that's what I saw happening. I saw people um, coming out as a spiritual person and um, offering free readings and, and I knew that the, the, the readings weren't very good but they were offering free readings and everybody wants a free reading and uh, and once they got a following of people and people trusted them because they felt oh this is a light worker this is somebody who's working for spirit then they start throwing out their money-making schemes so that was networking that had nothing to do with spirit it had nothing to do with true friendship it was using those connections in order to make profit off of them okay now if you're if you're honest about this up front that's not a problem but when you come back behind it sneaky, that's backhanded and it's not coming from the heart. So right now they're saying look inside and make sure and see if you have attempted to network instead of befriend. And they want you to know the difference. They're also telling you at this time it's very important that you understand, whoops, dropping all my cards, the difference between false friends and true friends. Who is a true friend? Who is the steady Eddie always been there for me? Um, I knew I could count on them. No matter what, anybody said that person had my back. That is a true friend. Look at the sun going down, you guys. Don't keep fair weather friends is what they're saying. Be true to your own vision. And 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 as we got about the as we got about the um the 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 other card that talked about um the one that says that your contradictions that make you so special. Be that. Be be a true vision to your true self and don't oh, watch it go down. Watch it go down. Oh, we did. We got the sunset coming down. It's so beautiful. Does it look like that? Oh, I would like to get a picture of that somehow. Oh, shoot. Maybe I can, maybe I'm going to hold it like this. Okay, you guys, this is what we're going to do. I hope I have enough time to do this. As the sun goes down, we're going to use that beautiful golden ray because I forgot to add something in my, in my solar meditation. We take that and we ask it to fill our entire solar plexus. No, we're asking it to go down into our crown. We're asking our father to stand next to us. We're asking Archangel Metatron to come in and clear and balance our chakras. We're asking Archangel Michael to stand there at guard while our chakras are open and now we're asking the father to allow this energy to go through down into us We're gonna fill up with that golden ray fill it in take it all in it's spinning 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 filling up our entire core all of our chakras are lit up as it goes down inside and now as it goes down Into our chakras the fire inside I told you our chakras are, chakras are spinning I've been feeling that energy as it goes around and around and around It's like it's like lava building up and it's gonna go out and shoot up through the top like a volcano and as we see the sun going down, setting, cooling behind the clouds, all of that lava that flows down to the outside of us is going down and it's cooling. It's like that. It's cooling on the outside. So it's forming a hard shield, an impenetrable shield. But inside, we still have this golden molten lava, which is unconditional, pure healing love. And when it spins around, it can always go out. It goes out of our heart chakra. It goes out of our third eye. It can go out, but nothing can come in. We ask Archangel Michael to put a seal over top of that a clear impenetrable shield then I ask for an armadillo plating shield titanium shield to go around the outside of that and then I ask for it to be mirror plated and then we ask it's all cleared off it's all sealed off there we are everything inside everything in the day 
that everything that we have picked up, any negative thoughts, worries, and feelings that were inside of us that have polluted our inner shield, we've burned off through this, this spinning golden molten lava. Anything that was on the outside got, got burned off. So now we're protected and sealed again. We do this every morning. We do this every night. We are completely sealed. The mirror around the outside is so that whoever or whatever comes against us doesn't even see us. They see the mirror plating and it's reflected back to them. It's their karma. They take that karma on themselves. So we have used that solar meditation and we have sealed ourselves in and you got to watch that go down. It's very, very important. Tomorrow we have the eclipse. The energy is crazy erratic right now. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain. The mountain is your inner self. Meditation, go into the center. So if you feel that great wave of emotion coming on you in the next while, I've been feeling it for the last several days, go into meditation. Go into meditation, clear your shield inside and outside. Ask your father, ask your archangels to light up your chakras and show you what is it? What is it that I need to know? What is it I need to surrender? What is it that I need to do? And then just be quiet and allow that meditation, the energy, oh, as it sinks. And it's just, you go into a place of peace because now you're going to rest and you're going to allow spirit to have it. You're going to hand it over. I surrender. I give it to you. And now I go down and I rest tonight in my dream space. And maybe in my dream space, I'll be given some answers. Be open to that but know that as you go into your dream space if you have done this shielding meditation you're protected even if you go out and you do work like I do at night even if you go out and you do work with other energy you're protected as you go in your dream space and if you're just going into your beautiful dream space you're going into a peaceful state of bliss you've burned off all of anything that has happened you've sealed yourself in and you're ready for the morning I would do it again in the morning to make sure if you've had any difficult dreams that have brought up things that you needed to release and let go of do it again at that space. But at this point, everything is peaceful. And any wave that comes, because there's going to be changes that are happening, it always happens in eclipse season. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain, meditation, go in, go to the Father, go to your highest source. That's what it means. This is a great reading. I know it was quick. I'm glad that we got to see the sunset. That was very beautiful. Let you guys see how I'm going to go slowly and let you guys see how incredibly gorgeous this is. Remember, we are in charge of this. We are in charge. This has been entrusted to our care. Anything that you can do will help. Anything. You see anything on the ground, there's nothing here. If I saw anything, I would pick it up and throw it away. Anything that you can do to not pollute the earth, to help the animals. My friend saw a cooper's hawk in her yard. It landed. It was missing an entire foot. It was a huge message to me. And she, she put the word out, what can I do to help this one? It didn't try and get away from her. It, didn't, it said, help me. It was asking for help, and she helped it. And, and it was on its way to a rescue organization. Those are the things that we need to do. We need to take care of this planet. We need to love it, because it's what's keeping us alive. Take care of these trees. Don't cut things down unnecessarily. Don't burn things that are going pollute to pollute the air. Grow organic, natural foods. Anything that you can do that's going to make this world thrive in a healthy, organic, beautiful way to give our, our animal friends places that they can live. Think about it. There's so many things, so many things. I'm so close to all of this. This is all very dear to my heart. So that's it, you guys. Here's our reading. If you'd like any help with dream analysis, personal life coaching, any private readings, long distance Reiki healing, I'm available. My website is www.theangelswhisper.com. My Email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com, S-H-E-R-R-I-C-O-L-U-M-B-U-S, all one. Um, go to my website, look and see if there's anything there um, that, that, that could help you. Um, and once you've figured it out, go to payment options. That takes you to my PayPal. Um, once PayPal is an, um, notified, I am a notified um, immediately. It's best for you to, whoops, it's best for you to write to my email address for how, we, how we're going to set up the rest of it, though. So um, just a donate button on my page too if you ever feel um, moved to donate to my my work because I do all of this for free and it would help me. I do want to say I wanted to make a correction. Um, a friend, um, ha two friends have actually donated three um, um, towards Lily's vet bills and I really really appreciated that and I don't know if I should give their names but uh, but I do want to say um, that was very very appreciated and, and what happened with her and that came at a, a difficult time for me so that was um very, very much appreciated, and, and, and I thank you so much. I bless you for that, and you will be blessed for that. You, we don't get, a, we, we don't give without getting something back. So, um, and it came from, it was just, it was just, it was just natural generosity and beautiful, beautiful and I love that. I want to show you my necklace that I'm wearing. 
this is a Vogel cut crystal. And it's, it, um, look it up, Marcel Vogel. This was made by him specifically. He did this and it's infused with Reiki. And it, you can see that there, it's faceted in a different way. On one side, it's more flat and this side, the facets go out. And it depends on the way the necklace is worn. One way it, it pulls love in, it pulls energy in and one way it sends it out. So depending on how I was, I was, um, I was meant to share that today and, and I was meant to wear it. I took my other one off. This is about me. This is about my own energy. My mother gave me this and it's important. So I'm, I'm getting a message that um, they, they want you to go through your things. Um, family heirlooms. Um, I don't know if it's cards or um, I don't know. I'm seeing paperwork and desks, uh, memories. Go through things that have, of importance uh, from the past. There's something that you're overlooking or there's something that needs special paying attention to. It could be a friend. It could be someone that you need to contact. Um, it could be, like I said, a special item that you need to carry as a talisman. I don't know. You'll know what it is when you see it. So that's it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for being with me. And, and I'm sorry if this is a, a shorter reading than normal. Norm normally I go on and on and on. But we've lost the light and my battery's gone. <laughs> battery's saying goodbye. So I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I had a fantastic day. And uh, peace, love, and light. We'll speak again soon. Blessings.